So now that we've found uh, the PS Windows Update module on PowerShell Gallery and we've been able to install it, our next step is to explore it. In a previous video, we talked about uh, pulling up the modules or pulling up all the commands in the module, get dash command for module PS Windows Update. Okay, now there's a handful of them here that I want to take a look at. So one of them, this one is, I think, really useful. It's get Windows, whoops, I always type Windows Update, WU last results. And this is going to show us the last results of the last time that we, right here, last time we searched successfully and the last time we successfully installed uh, updates. So that'll give us that. A um, couple of other things. Sometimes we'll have a system that's waiting for a reboot. So for that, we can do get WU reboot status. And this will tell us if we're actually have a reboot required because of Windows Update. If it's downloaded in the background and we just haven't installed yet. Uh, sometimes we also want to look and see, is it currently active? So that would be get WU uh, installer status. And so all of these, so we'll see that on this computer name, this is busy. And you'll notice that both of these include the computer name. So if I do a get help on get WU reboot status, go ahead and pipe that to more. <clears throat> you just see that we have a computer name string so we can send this out to other computers and pull back a report that says, hey, which computers are needing to be rebooted and which are not? Which computers are currently uh, doing a doing an installation and which are not? So, and then you'll see the other options here to auto reboot, schedule reboot, cancel reboot. So you see this gives us some fun tools for managing Windows updates using PowerShell. Now there's a couple of other command lists that we need to look at. And the first one is going to be do a get help on get um, WU history. I'm going to go ahead and pipe that to more. And so that, let's go ahead and blow this up a little bit too. So this, let me get the right one here. Here we go. WU history gets a list of updates history. So again, we can do this on multiple com or on multiple computers or on a remote computer. We can look at the last few. We can look at maximum dates. So this one, I just want to let, give you a heads up. I've had some issues with this. And I'll show you what we've had. Let me do the last 15. That one actually replied just uh, fine. There's sometimes I run this git w history and it kind of hangs up on me a little bit. Let's do this. Let's do a git w history. I'm going to pipe that to where object dollar sign underscore period result equals failed. There is another way to do that. Uh, might actually show that in a minute here. And so this will return to me the last four that are failed. And this is what happens sometimes. If I don't use the last, it'll just kind of sit here and hang. And I have a really hard time getting out of that. In fact, frequently what I'll do is I'll just open up another PowerShell window. Let me go ahead and open up another one over here. Okay, and then I'll close the one that's kind of hung after a while. Now, that lets us look at our history of updates. And if we look at our command, look at our commands for this module, you'll see that we have things that will uh, remove a Windows update as well. So if we're wanting to hide or install or do anything else with Windows updates, the one we're going to use the most often is going to be this command. See if I can find it right here, get Windows update. Now you'll also see we have several aliases here. 
download was Windows update, a hide Windows update, install Windows update, show Windows update, uninstall Windows update. All right. A lot of these are aliases, a lot of them honestly for this get Windows update. So the get Windows update command, and this actually isn't going to work very well for me because I just and updated this thing earlier today. So get Windows Update will actually go out and it will look for Windows updates and then it will return a list that needs to of updates that need to be updated. And so to install them, you do get Windows Update uh, slash install or dash install and that will actually install your updates for you. Now I have none of them that need to be updated on this system, unfortunately, so we can't see how it works. But when you do, you'll see a progress bar pop up here. I'm in, by the way, in PowerShell 5.1. So I'd see a progress bar pop up here, look a little bit differently in PowerShell 7. That will scroll across and tell me when my updates are completed. And then it'll also tell me if I need to reboot. and I can handle all of that from here as well. So this command this module and this group of commandlets are going to give us the ability to fairly easily manage windows updates through powershell